guys. Well, we went ahead and quick yanked the BEW engine out of the golf here. Got it on the ground so we can look it over. Pulled the turbo off just to check the exhaust ports and see. Make sure we didn't have any valve seals leaking or anything. And yeah, I, I usually pull engines out of the top, but I, I guess I hadn't really ever messed with just taking the, the core support off of these. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. And then you can basically just slide that whole engine out of the front. Just lift it up a little and push the car back. And that turned out to be pretty slick. It's still a little hard to get to these CV axles and the exhaust, but uh, I wasn't going to do a whole video on the BEW electrical. I kind of figured it would be very similar to the ALH, and a lot of it is. I mean, you can definitely look at my video for doing that and get a good idea, but there are quite a bit of differences just in the EGR. Um, all the EGR connections up here and the way the N75 setup, it's got its whole own plug and everything right here to disconnect it. Where did it go? Yeah, this big plug here, that's different. And obviously the O2 sensor on the exhaust, which goes back to a different part of the wiring there. That kind of makes it a pain. Um, so anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'll maybe include some more of that wiring in there. But the big thing is just when you guys are unhooking this, label everything you can. Even if you're probably not going to need it, just go ahead and put a label on it so you're not confused by what it is later on. So anyway, yeah, checking this thing out. And just seeing all the different connections and stuff this has with the tandem pump and everything makes it just a little bit more interesting than the ALH. So we'll see how much of that stuff we'll go ahead and delete. But yeah, we should be ready to tear this apart, get the transmission off of it and clean it up. It had a pretty good oil leak, or it's more like intake leak here off of the EGR so we'll be taking all that stuff off anyway so that shouldn't be too big of a deal and then yeah I, we did go ahead and pull the valve cover and unfortunately it's it's not terrible but the cam is just bad enough we were just going to put a belt on it but we might as well go ahead and do the the cam too but I, I do like to just kind of do one thing at a time, and so we will probably get the engine in there first, and then go ahead and take it back apart to do the, the timing in the cam. That way we know it's running and everything before we mess with the timing as well. But anyway, we'll go from there, waiting on that adapter plate. Um, but there are a few things I looked at over on the truck I was going to show you guys over here. So we got the, the grill off and we got that um, auxiliary tranny cooler off. And there's just so much room up here. It is a little tight between the, the AC condenser here and the back of the grill. We may have to trim some of the grill a little bit. But we're going to try to go ahead and get an inner cooler that's just underneath here. We're going to trim this down and slim that up a little bit so we can try fit a 3 inch inner cooler in here and go clear to either side of the AC condenser and then turn in on either side. We'll probably just have them coming out the top and if I can find one that'll go right here so we don't have to mess with the AC condenser. Again, we wanna try to leave everything intact there. But one thing with that B BW, it has the oil pump, or sorry, the power steering pump, is right on the bottom right side of the, the uh, oil pan. 
and I've helped a few people that have had issues with that power steering pump being low and from the looks of it it is going to be right in the way of this motor mount so just to give you guys a visual here I was really only figuring room for that oil pan in between those motor mounts but that power steering is right there just as low as the oil pan so we're not going to be able to squeeze it in there as nicely as I thought it's going to be a lot tighter but we just got to clear this return line here but that's about where that motor mount was so we'll have to figure that out I think we may have to trim some of this differential mount off right here that was part of the motor mount take all that off and we're probably going to have to do our own motor mounts just because we're going to need every bit of this space we may even trim some off on this side too and get rid of both motor mounts just to free up the space there because basically that that power steering pump is going to want to sit exactly where this motor mount is so that is what we figured out so far but we'll go ahead and see how that goes and get the get the kit in here but we'll probably clean up the engine some and try to get this intercooler ordered and mounted up in here for now while we're waiting so anyway just to give you guys an update that's kind of where we're at.